Hey guys, it's me, Ryan. Uh, I'm coming on here to explain what's going on. Uh, I'm not in possession of my phone. I can't get access to my Instagram. Uh, my cards are locked. And I'm just being real. Bad days for uh, Ryan Garcia. He said that his cards are locked out. Just to send out a video to the people that uh, my fans, um, family that's concerned that I'm okay. I'm not dead. I believe in Jesus. Say politics, subscribe. Stop bullshitting. Let's go. <laughs> you know, I, they try to put me in jail. They're blocking my cards. I can't access my money. I said I think he's being used. Hey man, that's the Oscar De La Hoya treatment. You lose, you're done. Taking all your money, taking your bitch, taking your crib, taking your whip. You seen like how much is where they're like eight hundred something dollars a ticket for what? Hey, it's live production, baby. Fucking, we do it. It's real. Ryan Garcia, eight hundred dollars a ticket. Yeah, some crazy shit. And they only sold like twelve thousand. Oh, that's not good. I saw something. I mean, if you're only, I mean, is Devin Haney? I saw something the other day I mean, where, the fuck where no one can afford eight hundred dollars. Where Ryan Garcia was sitting there like uh, shitting on uh, Oscar De La Hoya, crazy. and he's standing behind him. He's just like in the Midwest, maybe because it's definitely not that. <laughs> no, well, no, that's the, I think that's the thing with all like most live events nowadays. There's a huge difference between the people that support it on the gra grassroots, like UFC. Like you're, a, you're one of the biggest UFC fans I know. And this isn't this isn't any uh, shade, but like, bro, you can't go to a fucking UFC fight. Not like it, have a good seat or not anything like that. Weekend, so the people, no. bro, not every fucking year. If you are, if you no, are, it's, it's like it's well, like rolling loud. It's like yo, I have to plan to go yeah. to this UFC six months in advance. Yeah, when I get the email saying, "Hey, buy your uh, fucking whatever mm -hmm. uh, ticket pass," it's like two starts at two bands. I'm like, Ugh. yeah, no, <laughs> no I, I I think boxing just does a really bad job promoting their people. Again, I mean, UFC fighters are. They're more glitz and glamour right hey, now. Hey, we're deep in here right now. Make sure you show some love. Go to YouTube, subscribe, show some love. Damn. We got uh, 30 plus people in here. Oh. Most of the content is on YouTube, but they shadow ban your boy because we keep it real every week, set in politics. So you gotta subscribe. Uh, so you got to subscribe because they're not even going to tell you that I'm that I'm doing this. You know what I mean? Every week. It, it's on the hush shelf. Once I go live, they go, okay, shh, keep it quiet. So make sure you subscribe, show some love. Uh, we're going live on Twitter every week. Uh, appreciate all y'all. Give the most Ryan Garcia treatment. Uh, getting the Ryan Garcia <laughs> treatment. No, no, no Ryan Garcia is. needs to get this treatment. Hey. Yeah, he's he, his voice is actually being amplified the more coke he does. Oh, uh, so damn. Maybe, maybe I need to follow up. Damn. I need to follow his like, damn. Thing. But no, I, I mean, I mean, again, like, like again, outside of him doing the body shot videos. Hey, hold on. We're just oh, sit oh. politic. You just want to make sure no, no, sit you. politic. YouTube, show some love. Spotify, uh, iTunes, all of those. But go show some love on YouTube spe specifically. That's where we put the most work in, most content. Uh, but Ryan Garcia, my bad. I just want to no, make good, sure good, everybody that's in here, let, you know, so you know where to find us. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow. Right. But he lost to Javante Davis in a bad way. I mean, that was a bad way out, especially when, sat down. when especially when you're the one doing this whole oh, oh look at how hard I hit in the body. When maybe you should have been doing that to yourself a little bit. Maybe some uh, little I mean, no, no, that was one hell of a shot. And those shots well, happen. Also, That's a, boxing. This but, this fight's gonna be different because I mean, obviously Ryan Garcia is naturally bigger than uh, Javante Davis. Right. Him and, so he had to come down to Javante mm -hmm. Davis's size. Yep. And then plus there was something, some stipulation where he, yeah, he couldn't rehydrate. And that dude, I mean, you're. Yeah, you're it, it was the IV thing, right? You're depleting yeah. your brain of fluids anyway when you right. fucking. You know, yeah, but still, he wanted I mean, that payday. Wanted he, he, yeah. he wanted that payday though, so wow. how he responds is up to him. And, right and now he's responding also, crazy. Also, and I think he didn't even look good in the fight though. It doesn't matter. I mean, that is facts. Like, and 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 I think that's the problem with boxing. The problem with boxing is so many of these young boxers now, and especially the ones from from the money team, saw Floyd in the way that he was glitz and glamour, and the way that he was able to promote the fight. But what people don't understand is he. He was a great fighter. He had the undefeated record. There was things that the people wanted. You either wanted to see him win the fight because you loved him to death, or you hated him so fucking much that now you're going to pay to watch Bro, anybody knock him out. It was a problem until like it was like publicly known that he was like cashing out almost billion dollar. Bro, it was it was messy. But sudden, he did it smart because he was his own promoter. Like, I now baby. everything's trying to like all everybody in boxing is trying to do what fucking Mayweather did. It's like, bro. That's true. Well, but, it's, it's like the Conor. We see the same thing with exactly. Conor McGregor in the UFC. Yeah, but you have to establish yeah. that though. Yeah. Like, like he was with Golden Boy. No, it wasn't Golden Boy before that. I forgot exactly what it was with uh with Bob Arum, uh, and then it broke off to Golden Boy. Uh, but he was with them until that Oscar right before the Oscar fight, and then he yeah. split off and went to his own on his own team. And well, but you but you had to establish he was an Olympic fight. fighter by that time. Like, like he was a champ, like he was the guy. So, it, I mean, I mean, that was pretty boy Floyd. And then he went and became a money Mayweather. Right. 
And it's like, but uh, people forget at that time, he wasn't just dance, dance, dance. He was a great defensive fighter, but he was a knockout specialist. He was on an 80%. Though? I'm just saying that if the he, fighters oh, here, let me ask you go ahead. to be a clear question. If there's a clear route to making un, obscene amounts of money, do you mm-hmm. expect these guys not to build a brand? Now it's like a, br- a brand is everything. Yeah. Right? For but, a lot of these, hold, just let me finish. No, yeah. Like, so if it's just like we have a more savvy athlete nowadays. So they're starting off building their brand before they're as amateurs, to your point, their parents are building their brand. You just had baby Gronk who was like, yo, I'm quitting football. I don't know if y'all are familiar with this, but yeah. anyways, it's a kid that played football. He quit his par- football. His par- yeah. His parents uh, marketed him as baby Gronk. His dad's a piece Gronk of Gronk was like, get the fuck out of here. Stop using my name. Use your own last name. Yeah, his dad's uh, a- and then, yeah, I saw a video where he's like, I quit football. I just don't love it anymore. He's like, he's his, dad took a, his dad took the love away. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. His dad took the love away. There's but love out of I, can, I can relate to some shit like that. No, but, I feel yeah. that. <laughs> but like, but at the end of the day, as far as like, like what they could do, I, I think boxing could do a better job promoting your fighters in the fights. I think the boxers have to do have to do a better job at trying to sell the story. Yeah, and that's kind of thing that Conor McGregor picked up from Floyd, and you can see how Conor did it with the UFC. I mean, it was like, always a like promotion. Said, though, that a lot of that shit just comes naturally, and if it's if it's gonna happen for you, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yeah. And you've yeah. already been that person your entire life in any situation, any environment, like anything you've done, mm-hmm. you've always been that X factor. So it's like, oh shit. But you got back it up in the ring, and then that's nothing okay, is, yeah, for, and, and that's nothing is boxing. That's where that's where UFC right now is better than boxing. Yes, it's because more violence, it's more entertaining. The people in boxing haven't been boxing each other the best of the best. Like they should. I mean, but, but, but and, and that's thing. They they they, Dana fight. does a better job building cards. Right. Well, I mean, well, sometimes just, these dudes do fight, but it, we just, just never see it. Like Dan, Devin yeah. Haney and Ryan Garcia during this buildup, they've been talking about when they fought yeah. each other in the gym and stuff and like that. Sparring so they've seen yeah. each other, but um, yeah, right. to your point, they're not they're not putting it on the line. No, and, and that's part of what with the UFC, and that's why Dana. That's part of the that's part of the good side why Dana doesn't want to pay y'all to be honest is because he wants okay. to keep it a league. Let's he wants to keep it where you don't have a choice. Let's mm-hmm. this too. There's flyweight, yeah. featherweight. And what, boxing? No. Uh, no I'm, and you guys see there's flyweight. Oh, yeah. You're with six, uh, right? Bantamweight. Eight. Fucking featherweight, light heavyweight, welterweight, middleweight, light heavyweight. Yeah. And then uh, heavyweight. Dude, there's there's probably sixteen classes in, in boxing. There, there's so mm. many, bro. There's every like five, six pounds. So like you can you can literally hold a fucking and, and it yeah, it doesn't make much sense. And and, and again, and the problem is one the production, to to the way they they promote it, and then three, yeah, like like you have your your world number like six fighting some eighteen uh, as the fourth undercard on a fight on, on a Tuesday night. Yeah. And it's like nobody but my dad and my and I are sitting there up at ten o'clock at night going, man, we can't wait. That's not me. Man, like like we can't wait to watch sure. this young Japanese do box because we heard he's great. Yeah, like like that shit. Like like it's it, they do a horrible job with it with social media. Where do you see it on Instagram? You see UFC shit. You see slap box and push way more than boxing. Uh, and that's again, that's going to be Dana. That's going to be yeah, the, the people that, running and pushing it. But doesn't a lot of that have to do with like? Once again, the structure that you have in place. So True. the UFC is pushing their product. Mm-hmm. Like for boxing, like uh, Showtime, they're only in business with you a lot of times. For like this fight, now they did push like Floyd Mayweather and things like that. Well, 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 well things, he but. well he was his own promotion team. Yeah. So he he well, was no, part of Showtime he fights. Yeah, he was a partner no, with but, Showtime fights. So, so what I'm saying is is that so they had a long term yes. skin in the game. Yes. With boxing, a lot of the times you are your own business, and the business between you and whatever like superpower you might be dealing with, Showtime or whatever, and in, in the UFC, in, in, in MMA rather, it's UFC is usually fleeting. Like yeah. you're doing a couple fight deal with them, and if anything, they don't want you to get too crazy because then that's going to affect their leverage when they go back to sit at the yeah. table with you and deal again. But again, unless hey, you're what's with, going on, Jada Space, shout out to unless you. you're with Golden Boy or the Money Team, like you're not getting Twitter. If y'all like are that. if y'all are talking on Twitter, because I see it's a lot of y'all uh, in here. Um, I don't know if I can see your guys' comments, so I'm going to try to fix fix that and alleviate that. Because I'd love to hear if y'all are getting involved in the conversation. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, and and another thing is these young stars need to stop hitting women. Okay. <laughs> they, okay. okay. Good, good God advice. damn it, Tank. Okay. Got to stay out of this. Okay. Keep it within okay. the. Okay. You know what? Okay. Whatever. But, I'm just speak on his side. Who did he? Who did he get an altercation with? I, I, I don't remember. Ari Fletcher. Oh, okay. Okay. Who did Ari yeah. Fletcher also get an altercation with? Money bag girl. And. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I, I like where you're going okay. with this. Yes, sir. thank you. I like where you're going with this. Well, what? Where are you going with? I'm, I'm not clear. Playing the plane. I mean, I mean, 
I mean, I feel like he was just. Are we blaming Ari? I'm, I'm not defending. I'm not blaming nothing. I'm just. Okay. Saying. He's just we saying. He's just saying, saying that there's like a lot to talk is, about. He's just saying that there's some you know, questions to be asked. So who got there's in trouble? There's a few stories. There's multiple, you know, situations with one person in those. Yeah. You know, and mm. like, you know plays a part in all. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. so hold on. So who who got in trouble? Because make it clear for me, because I'm not so clear. Supposedly, fucking Durante Davis, like three or four years ago, when he went to prison. Mm -hmm. Oh, were they together or just yeah. he was like, okay. Mm -hmm. He was just like, Fuck Yeah, I, I never knew her name. <laughs> okay. Ari, Ari went from yeah, Ari. I, I believe it's Ari. I, I'm not into I'm the be clown if it's not. But I'm, yeah, I'm they might already be on uh, your I head mean, on Twitter. There, there's Google. We can always yeah. figure it out. <laughs> but no, like, like, yeah, uh, I ain't keeping that serious. So <laughs> but, as, but as far as this fight, like, it ain't his bitch. No. <laughs> but, but as far as this fight not selling, let me ask you, like, as far as like, like what you know about boxing, do you think Danny Garcia is really going to? Stand toe to toe with Devin Haney for all right. So you mean Ryan Garcia? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I said Dan.